We're here with Ben James, Managing Director of AIM listed Baobab Resources. The focus is on Mozambique for iron ore, base and precious metals and is an explorer. Now Ben, can you just give us an outline of uh, Baobab's portfolio? Yes, certainly. Uh, we first listed on, on AIM in 2007. We have uh, six projects now in Mozambique boasting a range of commodities and uh, ranging maturity from greenfields through to brownfields. And uh, our flagship project is the Tet Iron Ore Project, which uh, also has vanadium and titanium credits. Mm -hmm. Now, why is Mozambique a good location? Well, Mozambique's a really exciting place to be operating. Uh, we first went there for the geology. Uh, the neighbouring countries to Mozambique uh, host the same geology and uh, they've uh, got very rich mining heritages, but Mozambique doesn't. Mozambique's also had a, a, a pretty tragic uh, recent civil war history uh, which has prevented modern exploration. So they're, they're coming back from, from, being, Mozam uh, from Africa's, being, being Africa's uh, poorest economy to its fastest growing in a very short period of time. They revised the Mining Act and Cadastral Licensing System back in 2003-2004, uh, which really guarantees security of tenure. And the government, in particular the, the, uh, the, 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 mining, the Mines Department, is firmly committed to encouraging foreign investment in Mozambique to get the mining industry up and running. Yeah. They see that mining is going to be the cornerstone of, of uh, the new Mozambique economy. Uh, and that's really borne out by uh, the big hitters in country, which includes the likes of uh, BHP Billiton with Mitsubishi down at Mozal the uh, Southern Hemisphere's largest aluminium smelter, major investments going into gas production, um, infrastructure in particular, hydro, uh, hydroelectricity uh, and um, port and rail uh, refurbishment, and of course coal. Okay, your key focus is Tet Iron and Vanadium and Titanium project. Now you've described Tet as an emerging uh, mining and industrial hub of uh, Southern Africa. Why is this the case? Well, a little bit more background on TET, I guess. We looked at this, it's a magnetite uh, uh, style of iron ore, and what really got us excited was, was the infrastructure that's in place, because it's typically a showstopper for large bulk tonnage, uh, uh, bulk commodity projects. TET is unique in that uh, we've got strategic access to hydroelectric power, which is critical, um, refurbished uh, port and rail facilities to get the product to, to the coast. And really importantly, this really puts a, a unique twist on the project, is that we're, we're sitting right beside um, some world-class uh, coke and coal deposits. Uh, uh, we share license boundaries with Vale and Riversdale, as well as uh, Beacon Hill and Nippon Steel, and, there's, uh, and we have uh, Inkondesi out, out to our east. So in the in the immediate area there's more than 15 billion tonnes of mm -hmm. coking and thermal coal. So uh, what are the key features of the uh, TEP project and uh, what have you achieved to date and what are the plans going forward? Well there's almost no historical exploration. There's two phases of government sponsored work in our area back in the 60s and 80s. It was dangerously academic. There was no drilling, there was almost no sampling. Uh, we've very rapidly taken this project from a, from a, from a concept to a, a company flagship in, in, in roughly 18 months. Uh, we commenced mm -hmm. drilling there last year after having brought in a, a, a strategic partner in the IFC, the International Finance Corporation. Um, started drilling last year, we tested 500 metres of an 8 kilometre strike uh, potential and we uh, generated a 50 million tonne resource. So it was a very good start for us. We've got an exploration target in excess of of uh, half a billion tonnes and um, we've spent this year uh, building our knowledge of, of, of that uh, exploration target. We're currently in the middle of a, a resource drilling program. We expect to have a, a, an updated resource out next, uh, early next year and be moving into uh, pre-feasibility towards the end of next year or midway through next year. Mm -hmm. Now what's the uh, significance of your recent announcement with the uh, joint venture with North River Resources uh, with your Mount Mwandi? project? Yeah, it's an interesting one. The, the Mount Mo we, we, we've been looking at other magnetite deposits in the Tet area and the Mount Mwande deposit was, uh, has, was worked back in the 1980s by uh, the Yugoslav government. Uh, they've drilled around about 5,000 metres in, in the area. Uh, it's a magnetite and phosphorus uh, hosted by a carbonatite, so there's also opportunities for rare earths and so forth. Um, North River uh, have, have tenure over the area and we've, we've negotiated what we believe to be a very good deal for Baobab. Um, yeah on the project, we're, we're committed to spending uh, $600,000 pound, uh, dollars, sorry, uh, to earn 60% in the project over the first year. Uh, so we're, we're currently doing a, a, a data review 
um, we, we will uh, be drilling as early as possible in the new year. So we're really excited about that project. In, in light of the uh, strengthening commodity prices and uh, interest in the uh, sector, do you think with your uh, Mundagawara uh, project with copper, nickel and gold uh, that there'll be um, any movement? Yeah, absolutely. We'd, we'd love to get our teeth stuck back into Mundungwara. We, uh, we started working there earlier on uh, when we first listed. We, we spent uh, 18 months uh, really developing our knowledge of that project. And uh, it's, it's a great project and would grace any uh, junior explorer's portfolio. Uh, its, potential, its potential for us is dwarfed by, by our TEP project. Uh, but we do need to work on it. As you say, the uh, commodity prices are, are going through the roof and global um, global uh, reserves of nickel in particular are, 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 are declining. So it is the time to be exploring and developing resources, uh, particularly for the, 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 the copper and, and uh, nickel, as well as gold, of course. Mm -hmm. So um, in July, you uh, made an announcement that uh, you had a joint venture with uh, your Changara project. Uh, give us an update on that one. Yeah, this is an interesting project. Uh, we're, exploring it, we're exploring it for uh, Broken Hill type base metal as well as manganese. We did a lot of work back in 2008 on it and uh, we brought in a, a joint venture partner a, a few months ago and we've got three or four teams working in the field at the moment doing uh, soil geochemistry. It is a Greenfields project uh, but the results we're turning up at the moment are pretty exciting. Typical Mozambique, no historical exploration, yeah. real opportunities for, for not just finding world-class deposits, uh, but entire mineral fields that have yet to be walked over. Mm -hmm. Now, how comfortable is the uh, company with financing going forward? Um, it was announced uh, that you have a five million uh, pound uh, facility. Yeah, that was uh, that was something that we set in place really as a backstop um, uh, for, for our, our funding requirements going forward. Uh, our projects are, are now getting to a maturity where we're starting to attract uh, the, the larger resource funds and so uh, future funding will probably come out of, out, out of that sector. Uh, but having, having the, um, the, the, the equity line facility is a very useful um, backstop for us. Okay, so in summary, uh, what does Baobab uh, Resources offer investors? Uh, well, meaningful news flow and lots of it. Uh, as we uh, continue to drill through our, uh, our TEP project this year, uh, investors can expect uh, 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 ample news flow coming from the drilling. Uh, we've got a lot of other initiatives uh, uh, in play as well, uh, including uh, what we're doing at uh, the Mount Mwande uh, joint venture, uh, culminating in a, a, a bit of a milestone for us, the, the next resource statement coming out in uh, probably February, early February next year. And then once again, just more drilling, more mm -hmm. results, okay. keeping the story ticking along. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ben. And uh, we look forward to watching Baobab Resources.